بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم and peace be unto you I'm your host Zahak and we welcome all of you to the next and exciting episode of Ask Madni Show where we will be asking Sheikh Arshad Bashid Madni who is an MBA and managing director of an ID company and an international Islamic scholar graduated from the prestigious University of Medina Munawara Saudi Arabia so Alhamdulillah as I say all the time we have all in one Sheikh with us Inshallah we'll be discussing with Sheikh Arshad Bashir Madni Contemporary social religious issues will be beneficial for all of us For Muslims and non-Muslims as well And Inshallah this show will be a common platform for Muslims and non-Muslims to unite on So today our topic is very very interesting Guess what? What's the burning topic today we have? The topic is Is it really permissible for Christians to propagate their religion? So let's ask Madni about this Assalamu alaikum Sheikh Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah Sheikh we commonly see uh, Christian missionaries working to promote their religion Is it really permissible for them to promote their religion? Alhamdulillah Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Well the question is very important uh, We can claim that the Islam is the only missionary religion on the face of the earth and Islam is in the sight of Allah the only religion in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the only acceptable religion in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm -hmm. and no religion can claim as a missionary religion for the whole humanity mm -hmm. or for the whole world mm -hmm. except the Islam except Islam. Islam. If you read Surah Baqarah, Surah number two, Ayah number one eighty-five, Shahr Ramadan al Ladi Unzila fi al Quran, Hudal Linna. Quran is for entire humanity. Mm -hmm. If you read Surah Furqan, Surah number twenty-five, Ayah number one, Tabarak al Ladi Nazil al Furqan, Ala Abdihi liyakuna lil Alamin al Nadira lil Alamin. Quran for is Alamin for the whole world. And if you read Surah Saba, Surah number 34, Ayah number 28, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةً لِلنَّاسِ بَشِيرًا وَنَذِيرًا وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger for entire humanity. Mm -hmm. And if you read Surah uh, Al-Imran, Surah number 3, Ayah number 110, كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ All the Muslims as a die for Oh, whole humanity. Okay, Muslims are dies to whole humanity. Yes, and if you read Surah Araf number seven, ayah number one fifty eight, hmm. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Qul ya ayyuhan nas, inni Rasulullahi lakum jamia." Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger for all the mankind. Hmm. Instead of that, we cannot find a single verse in the entire Bible. Hmm. Even Jesus peace be upon him he clearly mentioned that he is the messenger only for the tribes of Ben Israel the children of Ben Israel children of Israel if you read in gospel of Matthew chapter number 15 verse number 24 mm -hmm. if you read gospel of Matthew chapter number 5 verse number 17 mm -hmm. if you read gospel of Matthew chapter number 10 verse number 5 mm -hmm. if you read gospel of Matthew chapter number 10 verse number 6 okay. in all these places Jesus has clearly mentioned that he is the messenger for only the children of Israel and he said don't go to the Samiri don't go other nations but uh, you have to go and propagate only to the children of Ben Israel but Sheikh many Christians claim uh, quoting Gospel of Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19 that Jesus told to go and tell the nations nations yes. what is mentioned so based on this they they say that it's incumbent on them to go and tell the nations so how can we disprove this? It is easy for you to answer them if you quote the vice versa quotation. Mm -hmm. Vice versa quotation, it is Gospel of Matthew. You are quoting is Gospel of Matthew chapter number 20 verse number 19. If you quote Gospel of Matthew chapter number 19 verse number 28, mm -hmm. it is easy for you 
to prove them and uh, you, it is easy for you to explain them and answer them. Uh, yes, I know the verse which you are quoting that is Gospel of Matthew chapter number 28 verse number 19 mm -hmm. in this verse, this is in uh, red letter Bible, uh, yeah. but this is the verse from the second coming of Jesus. Okay. This is verse not from the first coming first of Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Apart from that, I am quoting the Gospel of Matthew chapter number 19 verse number 28. This is the verse at the day of judgment mm -hmm. and the conclusion from the Jesus that only the 12 tribes of uh, 12 tribes they will be successful. Okay. Imagine mm -hmm. how can we uh, find, how can we believe that from the 2.1 billion mm -hmm. Christian, right. uh, the successful, the 12 tribes, the only 12 tribes right. will be the successful. Apart from that, the whole Christ Christianity, where they have to go? Right, right, right. Th where they have to go? Right. That is the big question. Yes. But, uh, Sheikh, uh, what is the solution? I mean, if only 12 tribes of the children of Israel will go to heaven, will go to paradise, uh -huh. then what about the 2.1 billion Christians who believe in Jesus Christ, yeah. who, who restrain from all kinds of materialistic desires, then yeah. what's the solution? I mean, where will they gonna end up? That, that I want to convey that according to the understanding of Bible, the Christianity is not the missionary religion for all the humanity mm -hmm. and according to the Bible uh, we, ha uh, we, we can find many verses and many prophecies about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mm -hmm. Bible commands the Christian to accept the Islam Islam is the only solution for all the Christian right. if they accept Islam they will get the solution because if they read in gospel in uh, in the Old Testament in Old Testament Song of Solomon chapter number five verse number sixteen, mm -hmm. like you can see the word Muhammad by name clearly mentioned. This is the Hebrew language. Okay, Hebrew language. Hebrew language, mm -hmm. and you can easily understand through the Roman language. Hikku mm -hmm. mamitakim. We call Muhammadim. Yeah, Muhammadim. Muhammadim. It's mentioned here. And earlier we said mm -hmm. we downloaded from the uh, website Israeli Israel website Israel website and one rabbi used to recite that Hikoma Mittakim We Kolo Muhammadin Zehude wa Zehre Baina Jerusalem Muhammad the word Muhammad. The word Muhammad occur in the Hebrew quotation by name. In Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. And as well as, if you read uh, the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 15, 16 and 17, you will find the word Parkalit. Mm -hmm. According to the head of the department, the name is Karyu, he declared the Parkalit means Muhammad. Muhammad. And Islam Tormeda, who... Uh, gave the Shahada 833 and he wrote a book Arraddu Ala Ahli Salib hmm. Arraddu Ala Ahli Salib and he also confirmed and he is the scholar of the Bible at hmm. that time hmm. and he wrote a book and he confirmed that the Farqalit means the exactly fit to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with these two quotation we can say the only solution for all the Christian brother to accept Islam and get the solution. MashaAllah, that's amazing. Jazakallah khair, Shaykh. Barakallah. May Allah accept your deeds and intentions. Amen. Amen. So this was Shaykh Ashad Bashir Madni who was explaining us from the Bible that Christianity is not the religion of missionary. That means they cannot promote their religion because Jesus Christ uh, restrained them from promoting their religion and Christ, the message of Jesus Christ was only confined to the children of Israel and even Jesus Christ said it's mentioned in Gospel of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 28 as mentioned by Sheikh that the only 12 tribes of children of Israel will, will go to heaven and the rest 
they have to find the solution and the solution is Islam as Jesus said to follow Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, and the Sheikh quoted the references from the Bible where the name Muhammad is still mentioned Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. so inshallah we'll be coming up with more interesting topics in future so don't uh, so uh, so stay tuned and you gotta go nowhere and keep watching Ask Madni Show Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh